Hey, what's happening, guys? Um, one of the questions I am asked more than any other is what is a good book for getting started in electronics? Well, coincidentally, a good book for getting started in electronics is called Getting Started in Electronics. And it's by Forrest Mims, the author of the Engineer's Notebook series. So this book has been in print since 1983. This is the fourth edition, the 2014 printing. And uh, yeah, this is an excellent book. Let's go through here real quick. Um, basics on electricity, electronic components, semiconductors, photonic semiconductors, integrated circuits, linear integrated circuits, circuit assembly, 100 circuits you can build, and an index. It's all handwritten, hand drawing, hands down, the absolute best book you can get for starting in electronics, in my opinion, of course. What if you want to go a little bit further? Well, the next book I generally recommend is uh, The Art of Electronics, but that's quite a step from getting started in electronics. That's like, <laughs> it's like going from a bicycle to a drag bike. Now, you guys know I've been playing around with radios for a while. And uh, the main group that handles the radios in the United States is the ARRL, the Amateur Radio Relay League. <laughs> and they produce quite a lot of books on all sorts of different things. This is the handbook for radio communications. I don't care if you're into radio or not. Buy this book. Uh, buy this one or an earlier one. Nobody's invented a flux, flux capacitor yet. So the electronics of 2017 are still the electronics of 2018 and going to 2019. If you were to buy the latest edition from the ARRL, it's like $45. I got this from Amazon for $13. It's a big book. And like I said, doesn't matter if you're into radio or not, because this book... Once you get past the introduction section, is all electronics all the time. I mean, that's all it is. I, I can't, after having discovered this book, it's, it's going to take the number two spot and the art of electronics is going to get pushed down. The art of electronics is more like an encyclopedia where you could go to see how something would be done. This this is educational. I mean, this has got everything you could want. Let's see if I have, a, have an index here. Sure it does. Yeah, here we go. All right, electrical fundamentals, analog basics, digital basics, practical design and principles, computer-aided circuit design. This really feels like two pages. Yeah, it is. Okay. Power sources, modulation, oscillators and synthesizers, mixers, modulators, demodulators, RF and AF filters, receivers, transmitters and transceivers, telemetry and navigation, DSP, digital modes, RF power amplifiers, repeaters. And then all the way in the stern is a CD full of software. Yeah, look, there's the list price when these come out new, $49.95. You want a good electronics book? If you're just starting out, buy this one. Like, if you don't know the difference between a resistor and a transistor, you buy this book. If you want to know how to bias a class AB amplifier, you buy this book. That's all I got for you today. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>